Hi friends. Well, it's a rainy day in the desert. No, this is not a dunce cap. Well, maybe it is because I'm going to go out for a walk in the rain. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm laughing at you and your dunce cap. That's all I'm going to say. Ta-da. Ta-da. What'd you do all day? Um, I painted my nails. You painted your nails? Oh, let's see. Don't go too close because I did a terrible job because my hands were shaky today. Looks good from here. Yeah. Yeah? Well, it's, it's a blue, sort of a teal blue. And... And what did I do today? What did you do today? I made a big pot of chili and at 5 o'clock, 10 people are coming in to eat it. Let me turn the light on. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a dunce cap to me. We already did the dunce cap part. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, you um, worked on the canopy with Sam for at least two hours today. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay. It's not finished. Better take me off the camera then. Yeah. Because I didn't do anything interesting. Uh, it seems to let up just a little bit. I'm going to go out before it starts pouring again. Why don't you? Goodbye. Goodbye. We keep the car real close when the weather's inclement because Lynn steps out and steps in the car and she doesn't smoke in the motorhome or the house at home. She smokes outside. When it's raining, she smokes in the car. Well, you can see that we have moved. We are no longer over there by the boondock bash. We are in the little tight circle right here up on the plateau above Ehrenberg. Anyway, I thought I'd come out and go for a walk. Oh, I've decided to sell my motorcycle. And why do I want to sell my motorcycle? Well, I think that it's time to go the electric bicycle route. So I'm going to sell my motorcycle and I'm going to buy an electric bike. Um, Unless, of course, some company wants to send me an electric bike to try out, that'd be great. You know, the electric bike company back in September said they would, and then, I don't know, they changed their mind or something. But anyway, I've contacted them a few times, and uh, the uh, CEO who sent me a nice invitation to review a bike seems to be incommunicado these days. That's okay. Um, I'll sell my motorcycle, I'll get an electric bike. So we're up here on this bluff, and the view is kind of wet today. We've got a nice saguaro cactus down there on the left. A rainy view of the mountains. People keep asking me why do I want to come to Arizona in the winter time instead of staying home where it's warm in Mexico? It's a very good question. <laughs> it's about, oh wow, look down there, there's a wash. If it rains hard, that thing will be full of water. Wow. 
Why do I come to Arizona in the wintertime when it's cold and rainy? <laughs> like I said, on the cold and rainy days, it's a really good question. The reason is because it's easy for us to rent our house at that time of year in Mexico. That's part of the reason. Another part of the reason is that um, we like being in Mexico in the summertime. We have these huge, big lightning and thunderstorms in the night and the air is fresh and it's cool uh, in the wintertime I mean in the summertime down there in Mexico where we live because of the altitude 5200 feet it's a wonderful place to be in the summertime so when we got this bigger RV three years ago we said hey let's not ever be in it in June July August and we've stuck to that and we stuck to it because we really enjoy that time in Mexico. Another reason is that in the summertime when it would be nice to RV, uh, it's hard to round up <laughs> this many friends in one place for any length of time. So this time of year we meet up with a lot of people that we like hanging around with and that's a big part of it, the camaraderie of nomads that meet in the desert for the winter. They're snowbirds. I guess I'm not a snowbird if I come north, but that's how it's working. There is one other thing, and that is that I would much rather run my furnace than my air conditioner. And as a matter of fact, the furnace works better than the air conditioners. I mean, the air conditioners will do it, but I pretty much either have to run the generator or be in an RV park, and I do not like to be in an RV park. So, the diesel furnace, that works great, and we're never uncomfortably cold in the motorhome, even if it's cold. I mean, well, you saw a video uh, a month and a half ago where I was stuck in a snowstorm up there in Montana. We weren't cold. Well, let's see, what else can I do for a video today? Oh, you may notice that uh, you didn't get a video on Friday for nearly two years now. I have posted two videos a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And the reason I didn't post one Friday, or I'm not doing it today, this is Saturday, I'll hope to get it up tonight and maybe you'll be looking at it on Sunday. The reason is because Verizon, don't make me swear, sold me a MiFi last November, a year ago, with the plan that I could have unlimited internet and come and go and cancel it and not be charged anything extra to come and go and shut it off and turn it back on, except what they didn't tell me. Well, they probably didn't know at the time, but on May 29th, they cancel all of their unlimited plans for a jetpack or a MiFi. Doesn't matter how you get it, you can't get more than 30 gigabytes for $70. Well, you can, but the next couple of gigabytes are another 10 or 20 or 30 dollars, and it's just ridiculous. Anyway, I'm working on another solution, and uh, uh, that's the solution that will be in this video because I ran out of gigabytes. That's why you didn't get a video. I'll get behind you. We're outnumbered. How'd that happen? Oh, the other way. I said, I'm going to get behind you. <laughs> oh, okay. that's why you sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me yeah. step yeah. out inside. They will find you. Do that. Yes, I'm the same way. So good. Does everybody get a napkin? Yeah. Yes. I need well. Dr. Pepper. And what are you guys all doing now? <laughs> I'm done. Eating, eating root beer floats. <laughs> Linda, Lynn, did you eat all your dinner before you got that root beer float? No, I didn't have to. Who, who said? <laughs> I'm the boss of me. <laughs> <laughs> Root beer floats all around. Wow. Uh, I think uh, compliments of Bruce, is that right? 
Yes. yes. Thank you, yes. Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Bruce doesn't want to be on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could be the witness protection. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jerry. The, uh, Dan did a video on the blimp. He did. He did. Yeah, I got to see it. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.